Hello all and welcome back to Missledyne Online and our continuing Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix walkthrough thing. So, in this video we are here in Neverland and we have Peter Pan in the party. And we're here in the ship cabin. Now this is important because this is where Tink is and we need to talk to Tink. But first, we have a very hard fight coming up. So, it is important that you set your, uh, your shortcuts to, uh, Thundaga, Blizzaga, and Fyraga. All of the support spells can go away for now because of something kind of important. Feel free to also equip anything you want on, on our wonderful friend here. You can literally equip anything you need. Um, it's, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And you can equip on Sora any MP type accessories, anything that raises his MP, anything like that. It's up to you. I'm not going to worry about that as much, but uh, you can if you want. I would also suggest putting a ton, a ton, a ton of uh, uh, Mega Ethers, actually, in your party, uh, in your uh, stock. You're going to need it. This fight is very hard, and yeah. As soon as you're ready, go ahead and talk to Tink. What is it, Tink? You want to go to the clock tower? It's up to you, Sora. Let's go! Okay, let's fly together. Birds of a feather. And we'll arrive at the clock tower, and we'll be greeted by one nasty Heartless. This is the Phantom Heartless. So, this is what is going to become kind of hard is he's actually going to cast a thing on the thing, and you need to cast stop on the clock. And you need to target him. When he has a white thing there, you can actually hit him. Uh, when, when you can't see what it is, I don't actually believe that he has anything. Now, you'll see that there's a counter over Peter Pan's head. Uh, that's actually because, um, and as you can see, the color changes depending on what's going on. So right now the clock is still stopped. But Peter Pan is at 12. That's kind of the problem here. So we can physically attack the Phantom again. If it's white, if the orb underneath him is white, you can physically attack. There we go. And let's go throw another stop on here just to make sure. And we can also throw a Kuraga. And be sure to target him with your fiber spell when he has the red underneath and when he has the uh, blue obviously it's blizzard and you can't do anything until he has the orb that he's weak to and luckily for us that one's white so we can hit that And yellow. Oh, that meant to be a thunder. There we go. I'm gonna run over and throw another stop spell on the clock. And I'm gonna throw a mega potion out there for us. Ah, I wasted MP. Alright, and we're also going to do a mega ether and throw another Kiraga on Sora. Because he does this wonderful ability that I absolutely hate. And we can physically attack him. Just keep moving and be sure to throw a, uh, a stop on the clock every so often. We're almost out of Mega Potions, that's okay. So he's got a physical attack, we can physically at throw another one of those on Sora. And a Mega Aether. And hit him with that. Look at that, we got him down. Wish we could block here, but we can't. Thank you, thank you Goof. Alright, let's hope- oh, okay. So we need to switch to the uh, clock and, oh, and cast uh, Stop. I think that I think that worked. Fire. 
Thank you, Peter. So he's going to use this. Luckily with Arrow, this thing just bounces off, which is beautiful. And one half of his bar is left. Can we do it? I think so. Peter's got a count of eight left. Look at that, he's almost dead. All right, so we need to throw another stop onto here. And down goes Phantom. All right. Not hard, just annoying. Goodbye, Phantom Boy. And we attained the power of time. Stop Ra has been upgraded to Stopka. And there you have it. That is the end of the optional boss here in Neverland. Thank you so much for joining us as we defeated the Phantom and earned the trophy, the Cloaked Shadow. Thanks again for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.